So hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, yeah, I'm wearing a fucking hat. I'm having no luck when it comes to my hair today. It's not working out for me. It's just not. It won't sit down. It won't stand up. I don't know what the fuck it's doing. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a hat on. Nobody will know. And then I tell you guys I'm having a bad hair day. What the fuck is my logic? Anyway... So I ask my brother to be quiet for like five minutes while I film a video and he just decides to start baiting the fucking walls downstairs. Okay, Sam. Um, I had to think there for a minute. I couldn't remember what fucking video I was filming today. Okay, so it's Friday Chit Chat. Welcome back to the channel. Can't remember if I said that yet or not. So first of all, I want to talk about this week's episode of The Walking Dead and what I thought and what I liked and all that stuff. So... I really, 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 really liked this episode. I loved this episode. I loved, I think everybody's talking about Lenny James this episode, but like enough can, like you can't say enough about that man. His acting this episode was incredible. Some of the most emotional stuff that we have seen since the premiere of season seven. And I said that in my reaction video, I said that it, it was one of my favorite episodes or it was probably the most emotional stuff that we've seen. And everybody was kind of saying, oh, what about the premiere episode? Well, yeah, that's my favourite. Actually, my favourite episode of The Walking Dead ever is the episode Still. My second favourite episode ever is a tie between the season six premiere, or sorry, the season six finale, which is the cliffhanger, and the season seven premiere. Those two episodes, I, I cannot count the amount of times I have watched them. I can't count the amount of times I'm going to watch them because they're like, they're just so incredibly well made and put together and wow but this episode would have to definitely be up in my favorite episodes too because like lenny was incredible when he said Dwayne's name his little voice crack oh my god and that little breakdown that he had as well in the street a lot of people have been saying oh morgan has gone crazy i don't think he has i think he nearly did we see him having flashbacks to clear and he has to clear and all that but I think he came back from that place in, in this scene, in this episode, the newest episode that we've seen. He did kind of go a bit mad for a few minutes and was screaming at himself. And he was, I think he was about to kill himself at one point. He was sitting beside the grave, which genuinely had me nervous. I was like, oh my God, Morgan, no. But he's, I think he pulled himself back. He mentally pulled himself back in away from that place. When, when he kicked the bucket and he saw the little melon roll out. I think that whole situation lit a fire in his belly that he needed, but I don't think he's gone mad. I think he realises now that he has to kill, that he has to do certain things, but I don't think he's completely lost it. Regarding him killing Richard, a lot of people were like, oh my god, Morgan went mad! Richard talked about that plan with Morgan during that episode, and Morgan, at that moment in time, decided, oh, I'll kill Richard now, that was our plan! Poor Richard didn't know what the fuck was happening. Richard wasn't prepared. Morgan didn't talk this over with him. He didn't go, hey man, I'm going to kill you in like 10 minutes. You okay with that? He just did it. So Richard was completely caught off guard. But they had planned it out and Morgan is just following through with Richard's plan. Meaning Morgan is on board with the idea of killing the saviors. He's on board with kind of luring the saviors into like a false sense of security and then striking and killing them all. I loved this episode in regards to Morgan. And when he went to Carol as well, I think Morgan realised, okay, well, we're going to have to kill. We're going to have to be a bit bad, if you know what I mean. We're, we, we can't spare everyone's life. He went and he told Carol, and he told Carol about Glenn and Abraham, about them dying. And I think that was Morgan's way of saying to Carol, you have to get on board. Like, they have done terrible things. I've decided to kill now, so are you going to do it too? And when Carol went to Ezekiel, I think that was Carol confirming, okay, I'm going to do what has to be done. Because Carol, a lot of people have been kind of saying mean things about um, Carol's character this season. They've been saying that she hasn't done anything, that she's been sitting in her house all along. I think, I think that was really important to get Carol to the point where she is now. I mean, Carol wanted to leave. She wanted to completely leave everybody. But Ezekiel talked her into kind of staying on the outskirts, stay at like an arm's distance away. And I think Carol did stay there to kind of weigh up her options as to what she wants to do and how she wants to proceed from here. And when Morgan told her about Glenn and Abraham, Carol was just like, I love these people too much to walk away. I can't walk away. I think her going to the kingdom instead of going to Alexandria is really significant too. Because she went to the kingdom and she said it to Ezekiel. So she knows, okay, we need the kingdom on our side. We need Ezekiel and his people. We need the men, the numbers, the power. So she was kind of getting Ezekiel on board. But I think Carol staying at the kingdom is better than her staying at Alexandria. 
She loves the people in Alexandria too much. She's too closely bonded to all of them that her emotions will get in the way of whatever she tries to do. If she stays in the kingdom where everybody is still kind of relatively a stranger, she'll be able to be in the fight but kind of be at a distance from the fight at the same time, I think. Now, all that being said, who knows? Carol might go and rejoin Alexandria next episode. But I think her staying at the kingdom would be a smart move. So that's Carol and Morgan this episode and what I thought of them. I, call, I called your man, the leader of the saviors, I called him a toss pot and a lot of people didn't understand what I meant by that or what I was saying. Lads, I forget that you're not Irish. I forget that I have different words for certain things than you do. Toss pot means um, prick or asshole. I also called a uh, shopping cart a trolley. We just call them trolleys where I'm from. They're a shopping trolley. Lads, now that I think about it, the Irish language, we have a lot of really fucking weird words for stuff. Like, I will, yeah, means I won't. I also use the term your one or your man a lot. That just means that woman. So if I say, look at your one over there, it means look at that woman. And it probably means I have forgotten her name, so I'm calling her your one. Side note, nobody in Ireland says top of the morning to you. No one, apart from Jack Jacksepticeye, but that's like, I think it's like a thing for his channel, but nobody actually says that. Anyway, moving away from that. Um, regarding Benjamin's death, that really hit me. It really hit me when poor little Benjamin died. Like, fucking hell, the creator was just standing there and then boom, bullet to the leg, and then boom, death. He didn't do fucking nothing to anyone. I felt so bad for him. But a lot of people have pointed out, and I realised it as well while I was editing my reaction, that he went to Carol and asked her, hey, can I come with you? I want to learn stuff. And I even kind of made a joke about it. Remember, in, if you see my reaction, I said that, um... Oh, he just wants to follow everyone around and learn things. If Carol had said yes, Benjamin wouldn't have gone on the the, the melon drop and he wouldn't have gotten killed because he wouldn't have been there. But Carol thought that by saying no to him that he wouldn't be in danger, that he wouldn't be with her. So when Benjamin turned up and then died in Carol's house, I think Carol kind of realised, well, he was talking to me this morning and he wanted to come with me and I said no. If I had said yes, would he still be alive? So I think Carol as well realises that in this world, I know she doesn't want to kill, I know she doesn't want any more violence, but whether she partakes or not, it's gonna happen. Whether you indirectly or directly cause something, it's gonna happen. So I think that's why she went to Ezekiel as well. She, Carol's kind of like, I've, I've had my moment of, I don't want to do this. It doesn't matter whether I do or not, because people are still going to die regardless. So fuck it, I'm going to try and help. I'm going to try and help the good side. That's kind of what I take from that and what I think about that. Anyway, moving moving away from Walking Dead talk today, it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you beautiful people. One thing I want to mention is it's, we, like, we call it St. Patrick's Day or we call it Paddy's Day. We don't call it St. Paddy's Day. We don't call it St. Patty's, which a lot of people do, apparently. I've seen a lot of it on Twitter, Patty's Day, like P-A-T-T-Y-S. Lads, that's not a thing. I think where that came from is someone Irish said Paddy's Day and somebody thought they said Patty's. It's not Patty's, it is Paddy. Paddy's Day. Both of those words now have lost their meaning. I've said them too much in the last few seconds. But yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day. Today is celebrating being Irish, which I am, if you guys didn't know. I've gotten a few comments recently. One in particular sticks out in my mind uh, was, oh, I love the British accent. I was like, cool fact, dude. Sorry, I don't have one. I'm Irish. My accent does kind of confuse a lot of people. Some people don't know what it is. I've been asked, someone asked me, was I French? I was like, mm -hmm. but if you're new to my channel and all of that lark, I'm Irish. I might not have a pot of gold in the fucking background and I might not scream top of the morning to you. But yeah, I am Irish and I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of where I come from. I love my little country. I love my little city. I love that we have a day of celebrating as well. I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Like, I don't go all out to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Usually I will go to the parade with my family because there's St. Patrick's Day parades everywhere in Ireland. All over the world, actually, now that I think about it. Don't, isn't there like a massive one in New York or something? But um, I usually just go to the parade with my family. Most years, actually, I watch Boondock Saints as well because there's like an Irish undertone to that. I nearly forgot to watch that. I'm going to have to like make a note somewhere to remind me to watch that tonight. You know what they say, everyone's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So if you guys are going out, if you're celebrating, if you're planning on getting a little wild, then just be responsible, be safe, have a great night. 
But yeah, I am insanely happy and proud of where I'm from. And sometimes I do kind of... I am aware sometimes that most of you guys aren't actually Irish. There's a few people I think that are Irish that watch me and they kind of understand what I'm saying. But a lot of the time I'll say a word or a phrase and people are kind of like, what? <laughs> so I am kind of wary of that sometimes. But sometimes words slip through like trolley. Also, speaking of things slipping fucking through, the weasel thing I said in my reaction video, every comment was like, weevil, weevil, they were weevils. I was like, what are you on about? Turns out there were weevils in the garden, which are little beetle looking insects. Not weasels, like I thought she said. Looking back on it now, yeah, it wouldn't make much sense for, for weasels to be inside in the garden now, would it? Being in my head, you guys, is a very confusing, very confusing place. I didn't question why there'd be weasels in the garden. I was like, oh, there's weasels. We <laughs> I was like, there's weasels in the garden? Oh, no. I didn't once question it. So, watching a TV show or doing anything through my eyes, it's a fucking experience, I'll have you guys know. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend, a great St. Patrick's Day, if you're celebrating. And I will see you guys on Monday for my Walking Dead reaction. I can't believe we are so close to the finale. This time last year we were gearing up to meet Negan for the first time. How has that been a year? Fucking hell. But I'm kind of worried that people are never going to die in the finale, so I'm just so cautious about the finale. So cautious. But we're gearing up for the finale now. We're, we're nearly at the end of season seven. Again, this for me has been the fastest season. It was just a blur. But yeah, I will see you guys on Monday for my Walking Dead reaction.